a brand new team in the Sun Belt. And typically, we talk about this bunch when it comes to Conference USA. But the Southern Miss Golden Eagles, Will Hall, in his second year, uh, might actually have quarterbacks this go-round. And even without quarterbacks last year, they were pretty good. Their post-game win expectancy was 4.24 and 7.76, so about a 4-8 and eight record. They ended up going 3-9, and nine, and that was without a quarterback for the last you know quarter-plus of the year. So that's definitely a little different. But, uh, but when you look at what this team was, I mean, number 122 PPA margin, number 128 offensive PPA per drive. Uh, the defense performed relatively well. They were number 80 in PPA per drive. Uh, but number 58, rushing success rate allowed. Number 55 in passing success rate allowed. Looking at the offense, I trust Will Hall. What he did at Tulane was really, really good. I think he's going to be able to do that at Southern Miss, but you got to have a quarterback to do that. Luckily, they start off fresh this year. None of the guys have injuries right now. We should be okay. We should be okay. You look at running back Frank Gore Jr., wide receiver Jason Brownlee, those guys are special. you got to figure out who's going to be the quarterback. I think it's going to be Ty Keyes. Uh, he signed in the spring. In four games in 2021, he was not super efficient, but he is a young guy. In his second year in the system, maybe he's a little bit better. Uh, the offensive line has has experience. Uh, they did not perform up to what their talent said they would in 2021. And, you know, Will that experience help them improve? Like all five of the offensive linemen – had 320-plus snaps last year. Like, that, that's pretty good. That's pretty good. So I would imagine they're going to be all right. By the way, this team, number three in returning production in the country. Number eight on offense, number three on defense. Uh, roster strength is number 83. They are the closest to Troy as far as, as, far as talent and experience goes. Um, looking at the defense, Austin Armstrong's scheme is, is super aggressive here, and they will continue to be so this year. 11 of 16 players. They played 250-plus snaps last year, are back. Again, number three in returning production. Um, they got tons of talent. They brought in nine transfers. Eight of them are P5 guys. And if you go and look at who actually transferred in, they got a bunch of guys from Ole Miss and a bunch of guys from Mississippi State. They kept it in state. They kept it all in state. Uh, they were number 46 in Havoc rate in 2021. That allowed for some long passing plays. As you see, they were number 121 in explosive play rate allowed. Uh, can the secondary deny explosiveness better this year? I, again, all that experience, I would think so. The problem here, and this is the keys to the season, this is a much tougher season schedule than what they're used to. And the non-con on top of that is pretty difficult. They've got Liberty at Miami and at Tulane. Uh, it said, how quickly can the team adjust to opponent upgrades? I, I, I don't know the answer to that. So I, I felt really good about this team at first, but then I went through and looked at the schedule and said, hmm, I might need to pump the brakes here. Uh, SP Plus has them going about 6-6. Six and six. I don't quite have them there yet. Uh, they need one of the quarterbacks to step up uh, because there are the potential big-time playmakers on this team. Defense is good. You still got to be able to score points to win games. I want to see it first. I've got them at 5-7. and seven. Uh, their five wins here have got Northwestern State, Arkansas State, at Texas State, South Alabama, and at ULM. And, I mean, the back half of the schedule is just brutal. Just brutal. Uh, Louisiana, Georgia State, at Coastal, South Alabama, and then you finally get your, I'm not going to say cupcake because they're in the same league, but you play at ULM in the last week of the season. Uh, to start off, Liberty at Miami, Northwestern State, and then at Tulane. I mean, it's just, this is tough. This is tough. So I'm going to go with five and seven here for Will Hall. I think he's going to be all right. Um, five and seven would definitely be an upgrade over last year, especially moving into a new conference. But this one could get tricky. It could certainly get tricky. Thanks for listening to the Winning Cures Everything podcast. The website is winningcureseverything.com, and if you want to connect with us, we're on Twitter, at GaryWCE, at ChrisBGiannini, at Winning Cures, or you can email us, Gary at winningcureseverything.com, or Chris at winningcureseverything.com. Subscribe everywhere you need to subscribe, and we'll see you soon.